Hello, good morning, students. How are you today? Again, welcome to Science 3 class. This is Teacher Lavi. So we are going to continue Chapter 1, Classifying Organisms. Can you still remember what are the four organisms? I'll give you one. Plants. Can you name the three? Yes, animals. Next, fungi. And the last one, microorganisms. So we studied about plants and animals already. So today, please open your book on page seven. So today, we are going to study 1.2. Characteristics of fungi and microorganisms. So, what are the two organisms that we are going to study today? Yes, fungi and microorganisms. So, what are the characteristics of fungi? Fungi fixed in one position, same as the plant cannot walk, cannot run, cannot fly, fixed in one position only. Microorganisms are very tiny, very small, like this one. You cannot see using your eyes. Fungi cannot make food, not the same as plants. Plants can make food because they have leaves or leaf. Fungi, mushroom, doesn't have leaf or leaves. So it means fungi cannot make food. Food. Microorganism, you are going to use this object. This is what we call microscope. Again, microscope. You use this microscope to see some very, very tiny microorganisms like bacteria. Next characteristics of fungi is feed on dead and live plants and animals. Feed, it means grow, eat on dead plants and animals. Not only dead plants and animals, also live plants and animals like this human foot this is a live human foot you can see there are fungi on foot why because you're not cleaning your foot or your feet properly so you better wash your body and take a shower every day Wash your hands, especially now that we have COVID-19. You always wash your hands, wash your foot before going outside and before going inside your, your house. So you need to clean yourself every time. So look at this picture. Do you like this? Is it good? Is it, does it look like good? No, it looks dirty and nasty and it's very dangerous for your body. So these fungi here, they're eating, they're eating, again, eating your skin. Feed, eat on live plants and animals. All right, understand? Next, microorganisms live in water, air, soil or bodies of plants and animals so not all water you can drink right some water are dirty because there are microorganisms in in the water bacteria in the water which which are not good for our body like in your mouth there are many bacteria in your ears, inside your ears, inside your nose, 
your fingernails, your scalp, your head. There are many bacteria, but not all bacteria are not good. Some bacteria are good. Yes, some bacteria are good. Some are not good. So, like I said today that we have COVID-19. Every time you go outside, you need to wear a mask. I have here a mask here. This one. You need to wear your mask properly, okay? So, so that you will not get sick. And take a shower every day. Uh, wash your hands and put some alcohol. Like when you go outside, when you sneeze, think. Because the air is dirty. So you better wear mask and cover your nose so that you will not inhale polluted air. Now let's continue. So what are the types of fungi? We have, yes, yes is edible. Yes, because it is used for baking, baking bread. So can you get the yes directly from the bottle and put inside your mouth? No, you need to bake it first. And then you can eat. Next, we have mold. Mold is inedible. It means you cannot eat. Do you want to eat this one? Of course not. Not good for your body. Next, mushrooms. Can you eat mushrooms? Yes, mushrooms are edible. Mushrooms are very good and healthy for our body. The next one we have toadstool. Toadstool is inedible. Unlike mushrooms that are very good for our body, toadstool is different. It is not good for our body because it might kill you. You might die because it is poisonous. All right, understand? If you see this one, toadstool, do not eat. Leave it there. Do not touch. Because do you see this white here? These are the poison. Poison part of toadstool. If you touch, and you said, I didn't eat it. But you put it on your, uh, your finger. You put on your, your finger on your eyes, your, your mouth. Still, it's poisonous. You might die. All right. Next, we have cup fungi. You can see a lot of cup fungi in the forest. Cup fungi in edible. And the last one, we have bracket fungi. Bracket fungi, these are fungi that grow on trees. The body of the trees, the stem, the trunks. It's a bracket fungi. So these are the types of fungi. Again, let's read. Yes, edible. Mold, inedible. Mushrooms, edible. Toadstool, inedible. Cup fungi, inedible. Bracket fungi, inedible. So let's move on. So how about... What are the types of microorganisms? The first one, very common. You all know this one, bacteria. Everywhere, anywhere, there are bacteria. Next, we have euglena, amoeba, desmid. Again, types of microorganisms, bacteria. Yoglena, amoeba, desmid. These are found in the water, in the air, and in the soil, and some in our body. 
plant uh, in the animal's body. So next, I am going to show you some words. And you words. So you are going to tell me if it is a fungi or a microorganism. So your answer will be fungi or microorganisms. Fixed in one position. Cannot move, cannot run, cannot walk, cannot fly. What do you think is the answer? Fungi or microorganism? Correct. Fungi. The next one, mushrooms. And yet, these two you can eat. Fungi, microorganism. Fungi. Next, very tiny. You cannot see using your naked eye because it is very, very, very small. Microorganism. Cannot make food because they, it doesn't have leaf or leaves. What do you think is the answer? Fungi, correct. Fungi. Next, you need a microscope, a machine, an object, so you can see those very, very tiny organisms. What do you think is the answer? Yes, it's correct. Microorganisms. How about this one? Bacteria. Is it fungi or microorganism? Yes, microorganisms. So I think you are ready to answer your activity. Can you please open your book on page 9? Activity 1.2. Characteristics of fungi and microorganisms. So you are going to write the characteristics of letter A. Letter A is fungi. And here you're going to write the characteristics of letter B. What is B? Microorganisms. So are you ready? Please ready your pencil and eraser. What do you think are the characteristics the first characteristics of A, fungi. You can you can help me answer and you can look up your book on page seven. Yes, fungi fixed in one position. Correct. How about letter B? What do you think? Microorganisms are very tiny. Correct. Next, let's go back to letter A, fungi. Another characteristics of fungi. Respond slowly to changes, the same as plants. How about letter B? Microorganism can be seen through microscope. Yes, you use a microscope so you can see the very tiny microorganism. Next, another, for, another characteristic for fungi. We have cannot make food. And another one, the last one for fungi is feed on plants and animals. How about the last one for microorganisms? Live in water, air, and soil. So these are the characteristics of fungi and microorganisms. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll give you uh, about three minutes to copy the answer. All right. So I'm going to set the timer first. You have three minutes. Three minutes. This one, three minutes. Ready? Go.
You have less than two minutes left. Almost done. Right, quickly. Okay, you have less than 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and finish. All right, so let's continue. So, this is your homework for today. You're going to answer number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. So please answer your homework at home. If you have questions, please ask teacher lovely. Do not be shy, do not hesitate to ask teacher lovely if you don't understand, all right? Okay, if you're done with your homework, please give me your book. Send to me your book so I can check your answer. So that's all for today, students. Thank you and goodbye. See you next time.